you are all I can think about. Dove Cameron is a Disney star that seems to be rising to the ranks of A-lister fame. After having attended her very first Met Gala this year with a shocking and stunning dress, she's back on the red carpet with the Billboard Awards. Her dress is insanely scandalous and certainly dropped jaws, shocking those who only have seen her as a Disney actress. The scoop of the dress drops all the way down to her abdomen, and now she's opening up to people she'd love to work with if given the chance ahead of her new single, Boyfriend, hitting number one on Billboard's emerging artist chart. Today we're covering Dove Cameron. Tomorrow though, you decide. Let us know in the comments down below who you think we should cover on the next episodes of Where Are They Now? While you're down there, please like this video so we know you enjoyed it and we can keep making more videos similar to it. Now let's get into it. Dove Cameron's real name is actually Chloe Celeste Hosterman, and she was born in Washington. She would later change her name to Dove Cameron following the death of her father when she was 15 years old. Dove is the nickname he gave her, and she wanted to honor him. When asked by a fan in a tweet, she stated, quote, My father always called me Dove. He took his own life when I was 15. I didn't get to say goodbye, so I changed it in honor of him. Her father passed just a few months before Dove debuted on the Disney Channel series called Live and Maddie as a teen. Further speaking of her father in an interview, she stated, quote, He took his own life, and he was also closeted, which we only found out after he died. When I found that out, I was like, everything adds up. He was such a sensitive person. He had bursts of anger, but he was also beautiful, and he designed jewelry and went to the Peace Corps. She also stated that she would love to, quote, write a movie about him one day, because my dad was just the most fascinating human being. She also started acting at a very young age, eight years old to be exact, in local theater productions. When she was 14, her family moved to Los Angeles, where she sang in Burbank's high school's national championship show choir. It was while in California, however, that Dub says she was relentlessly bullied. Due to her acting so young, she split a lot of her time between TV sets and school, and her peers didn't make that transition very easy. In an interview with Yahoo, Dove stated, quote, at school, I felt out of place. I was bullied. I would think, these kids don't like me. They don't accept me. But I felt like in the entertainment industry, I would fit in. She then said that she got locked into a closet, her art project destroyed, and other kids would throw razor blades at her. But by 17, Dove got her big break by being cast in the newest Disney Channel original program called Live and Maddie. The series was massively popular and thrust Dove into the spotlight. As is the Disney Channel way, she also got into singing and released a cover of the Imagine Dragons song On Top of the World, which peaked on the Billboard Kids digital song at 17. She then released an original single called Better in Stereo, which topped the Billboard Kid digital songs chart. On this time is also when she decided to pursue the creation of her debut studio album. Then Dove starred in a television film called Descendants, which premiered in 2015. It was viewed by 6.6 .6 million people and spawned Cameron's two first Billboard Hot 100 songs, Rotten to the Core and If Only. As time went on, Dove started to pivot a bit more to music, creating a band with her boyfriend at the time, Ryan, called The Girl and the Dreamcatcher, which became semi-successful, but when the pair subsequently broke up, the musical duo disbanded. In fact, Dove was going to marry Ryan. The two met on the set of Liv and Maddie and seemed extremely tight with one another. They even got engaged in 2015 before breaking it off a year later. Although they stated in their tweets that there was still love between the two, it just didn't work out, things quickly took a turn. In 2017, after their relationship was long over, Dove posted a photo of her new boyfriend and one fan simply commented, Ryan. She finished the sentence of the commenter stating, quote, was terrible to me. Although Ryan didn't directly say anything to this comment, he did subtweet Dove stating, quote, take the high road, there's less traffic. Although a few years later, Ryan did absolutely not take the high road. While participating in a Q&A on Instagram, one fan asked him what his proudest moment was. He said, quote, Within two weeks, my fiance cheated on me and left. I almost died from food poisoning and Donald Trump was elected president. He just casually dropped that Dove cheated on him, although this claim was rebuttaled by some of Dove's subtweets. She stated, quote, when a toxic person can no longer control you, they will try to control how others see you. The misinformation will feel unfair, but stay above it. Trusting the other people will eventually see the truth just like you did. Yoink, Scoo. In 2016, Dove played a role in the NBC live television presentation of Hairspray Live with generally positive reception, her performance in particular was praised. Then she also filmed The Descendants 2 in 2017. She then went back to the stage to star in the Mamma Mia musical. She went on to work in the movie Dumplin' and then in the fifth seasons of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. by Marvel. In 2018, Dove announced that she had signed with Columbia's label and that she would begin to release music following the release of the third Descendants movie. Although she hasn't released an album yet, she continues to release singles on Spotify to pretty high amounts of success. She also revealed that she's been cast in the upcoming CW reboot of 
of Powerpuff Girls as Bubbles. And now, as she continues to gain recognition, now seemingly apart from her fame on the Disney Channel, she's attending more and more high fashion events. This year marked a monumental shift for the young actress when she went to the Met Gala in an extremely cool dress designed by Iris Van Herpen. Although not following the theme of the Gilded Age, it's futuristic and super interesting to look at. She undoubtedly looks absolutely stunning. In an Instagram post showing off her dress, Dove stated, quote, such a deep honor to attend my first Met with one of my all-time favorite designers, the inimitable Iris Van Herpen. Iris, you defy earthly laws. Connecting with you as humans and watching you grow was so meaningful to me and I'm so glad to know you. I mean, just look at that dress. She looks like a cyber goddess. Just a few days later, she graced the stage on the Ellen DeGeneres show to perform her single, Boyfriend. And now, attending her first Billboard Music Awards show, Dove Cameron made her voice very clearly heard. In an Instagram post made a few days ago, Dove posted the dress she wore as she strutted the red carpet with the caption, quote, sometimes she's femme. The dress in question is a floor-length red dress with the deepest neck plunge I've ever personally seen. It just barely covers her modesty before dropping all the way down to her abdomen. She paired it with a classic red lip and straight brown hair with the center part. The dress is similar in design to Chloe Bailey's. Although they are completely different colors and shapes, they both expose the belly button area and personally, if that's a new trend, count me out. While she was at the awards, she spoke with E! Entertainment about the success of Boyfriend, which hit number one on the Billboard's Emerging Artist chart. Quote, I definitely think like I'm always really slow to catch up to any sort of success that I experience. So I feel like I've internalized it and I've yet to like believe it's really happening. So I'm just really moved. I'm really honored to be here today. Dove also stated, which artist she felt like she would love to collaborate with in the future. Quote, definitely, I'm a huge fan of Lil Nas X. I'm a huge fan of Adele, Doja Cat, everybody. I think it's a really great time for music. I definitely would be honored to collab with anybody here tonight. Although Dove wasn't nominated for anything at the Billboard Music Awards, she has been the nominee and winner of quite a few awards previously. In 2014 through to 2016, she was nominated three times for the Teen Choice Award. She was also nominated for some Kids' Choice Awards and won her first award for Favorite Movie Actress for Descendants 3. In 2018, Dove also won a daytime Emmy for Liv and Maddie, earning her the credit of Outstanding Performer in a Children's Educational and Informational Program. I do wonder if this is right before Dove pivots towards a darker and more adult look ahead of her first studio album. If her dress is anything to go by, I could totally see her newfound independence from Disney creating a much darker persona than what she had with Liv and Maddie. I also totally expect to see her in way more productions, whether it be acting or singing down the road. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Where Are They Now? Please don't forget to subscribe to stay updated when we post our next video. I've been your host, Sierra. See you guys next time.